In today's video, I am going to be creating a nativity spread on my classic happy planner. I thought it would be a good idea to represent my faith and what Christmas means to me, especially on this week. So if you're interested in seeing how that turns out, then just keep on watching. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. First of all, Merry Christmas. I am so happy to be here another year. Well, I didn't have YouTube last year, but yeah, sharing all my spreads with you on Instagram and now here. So let's just create a nativity spread and I have found a sticker book that has it and it's this one. I haven't seen another sticker book that has nativity, but look how beautiful this is. It's the holidays. Happy Planner Memory Keeping a Sticker Book. It has 738 pieces in case you are wanting to do the same. This is the sticker book you're looking for. So first of all, since it doesn't come with like, like a, a, the house, um, I am going to be creating that. So let's just do that first and then we're going to get down to placing the stickers. Okay, you guys, so this is my nativity table and I decided to go all in in the nativity house because I just wanted to give Jesus a lovely house to be born in my planner so I'm just going to go back in and start placing back the stickers That is just so, so adorable. And let me know if you are going to make an activity spread based on this idea because I would really love to see. Um, tag me here, tag me on Instagram or just leave me a comment and I will check out your profile and obviously share it on my stories. Um, I don't know if I want the angels here or if I want them outside. What do you guys think? Because maybe it's too empty here in the space. Should we put them here? Let's see. Because this angel would look really, really cute saying like peace on earth. I am really obsessed with how this is turning out, you guys. And I hope you're like me too. Okay. So here we have it. So I'm going to use this star, you guys, in the end because I just couldn't find another one. And I don't know if what position should I put it. Mm. What position should this go? Should it go like this? Okay. So I think that's lovely. And then I'm just going to put some stars around it to make it look a little bit more shiny. And then I will decide what to do about the rest of the spread. That's cute. I don't know if I should put like these all around here to create like that effect. I think I'm going to do that because... Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm done with that part of my spread. I think it looks really, really beautiful. And then it says here, Merry Christmas, but in foil. So I don't think I like, I would like to put something in foil. I would like it to pop a little more. So I'm just gonna go through my other Christmas sticker books and find um, a Merry Christmas there. Okay, so now that I have kind of erased those lines, I found in this um, Everyday Memories, Happy Memory Keeping sticker book, this Merry Christmas sticker. It's clear, so, and it's a lovely um, font. So I thought that would look beautiful. And these sticker books, like I said, are my favorites. The Happy Memory Keeping line is just so good. You can use it all year round, so I think that's adorable. And then I'm just going to place it here, starting on the 25th. And that turned out even better than I expected. And then I just, maybe I'll put, this is the season, down it. Or maybe I'll just find something here. Merry Christmas, ho, ho, ho. That'll be lovely. Let's see. Okay, so as you know, I love like kind of layering stickers. So I'm just going to put this one that says making spirits right here. And then I'm going to put up there, ho, ho, ho. I think this turned out cuter than what I expected. I'm just going to put um, like a box here and I will be calling this Dawn. I, I think this is adorable. This one that says shopping list right here. And I'm gonna place it just right on the top. This is so beautiful. So, so beautiful. I'm just gonna cut in the middle and then I'll punch it and put it in my planner. I am going to film this in case you wanna see how I do that. And in the end of the video, I'm going to share with you my actual nativity house, the nativity um, stable I have in my house. So keep on watching if you are interested in seeing that. And when a spread is as important as this, what I like to do is I like to take the backing of the punch. Um, it's a little bit dirty because I always punch with washi tape and stuff like that so these don't come off as easy but what I want to tell you is that um, I like to see where I'm punching because I don't want to create a double punch so I like to be careful when it comes to that and I actually like to see exactly where I'll be punching so I don't see surprises then as you can see there I'm exactly where I want to be, so I'm going to go ahead, wait, oh, it moved. It's kind of hard to do it like this because these punches are heavy, but my beautiful spread is worth it, so. So I am finished, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. Share this video with someone that's looking into making a nativity spread for this Christmas or for next Christmas. It's always a good idea to make a nativity spread. I think it turned out so cute. Um, and let me know what you think about it in the comments. And I will see you on the next one. Bye. So here it is, you guys, as promised, a little video for Nativity House that we have in our home. I think it's just such an important tradition for us. And we used to do it back home all the time, but then uh, this is the first Christmas that we won't be spending it with our families. So I thought it would be a great idea to start bringing these traditions in this small family of two. So when it grows, then we're strong on these traditions. We're going to put baby Jesus there on the 24th, exactly when it's born. Look at the three wise men, aren't they just adorable? And then we have Mary, we have the angel, we have Joseph. And then we have here the shepherd with the little sheep. Isn't that so cute? And then the fire that gives it just that cozy touch for baby Jesus to be born. Let me know if you enjoyed seeing this little part of my life because I enjoy showing you it. And I will be seeing you in the next one. Merry Christmas and a happy new year, you guys. Bye.